Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we're covering the latest New Horizons news by going over today's update as well as taking a look at the first event on the New Horizons island. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So just this afternoon, more details about the upcoming Easter event have been revealed for Animal Crossing New Horizons. But before we get into that, we're going to quickly go over a small update the Animal Crossing team rolled out this morning. As you know, we're going to be getting regular content updates for upcoming seasonal events and things like that. However, today's update was nothing more than a small patch to fix a pretty serious bug. This update is version 1.1.1 and all the patch note includes is fixed a serious bug affecting game balance. So other than that, we don't really know what the Animal Crossing team fixed or adjusted. However, just a few days ago, a pretty serious exploit was discovered that allowed users to duplicate any item in the game an unlimited amount of times. In short, it was only possible in local multiplayer and needed two island residents. It involved spinning an item while another tried picking it up. This somehow allowed users to pick up the same item over and over an infinite amount of times, which then could be sold for profit. Naturally, players started duplicating bells, however it wasn't long before players switched to the Royal Crown item for maximum profits, as these can be sold for a whopping 300,000 bells. Of course, there's no direct proof the patch notes for this update are referring to this particular glitch, but it has since been confirmed the duplication trick has been fixed, so it's pretty obvious Nintendo wanted to remove this exploit as soon as possible. Now version 1.1.1 is automatically rolled out and will automatically install for many users. However, if you're not connected to the internet when you turn your console on, for example, you may find the update isn't installed. If version 1.1.1 isn't installed, Animal Crossing New Horizons is still playable, but you won't have access to online features that are required for flying to a friend's island or visiting island tours. And of course, if the patch isn't installed, the duplication trick is still possible, but I wouldn't recommend it. Nintendo are not shy when it comes to banning Nintendo accounts and erasing game data, and since eSports became a thing, and Pokemon Go for that matter, game developers and publishers cracking down on players exploiting games has become a much bigger thing than it ever used to be, so be careful. Of course, if your Nintendo Switch isn't automatically installed in this New Horizons update, you can force an update by pressing the plus button on the right Joy-Con when hovering over the cover art and selecting software update. Doing this will then download and install the update, providing you're connected to the internet. Once installed, the update will be complete and you'll be running version 1.1.1 and all online features will be available. Now that's pretty much it for today's update, but Nintendo have also dropped a sneak peek in today's Nintendo Direct that revealed some details about the upcoming Easter event. Thanks to both the launch update and today's patch, we now have access to Bunny Day in Animal Crossing New Horizons, which as you probably know features the mysterious Zipper T Bunny who will host the event. It seems Zipper T will be hiding all kinds of Easter eggs around our islands in a scavenger style Easter egg hunt. We will be able to shake eggs out of trees, fish them out of the sea and even find them buried in the ground and probably a bunch of other places. But once we find these eggs, we can of course use them as a crafting material and craft Easter themed egg furniture, which is really cool. Some of the items we can see here include an egg archway, an egg table and chairs, egg baskets and even what looks to be egg balloons amongst others. Just like previous Animal Crossing games, this event is only available once a year and will be running from April the 1st to April the 12th. So that's plenty of time to round up as many hidden eggs as possible, so it's pretty exciting. The Nintendo Direct also revealed a second post-launch update can be expected after the event sometime in late April. This will bring Earth Day to New Horizons and appears to hint that Leaf will join the game in some way as well as some brand new features. Personally, I'm hoping for gyroids to be added or Leaf's shop, but we'll have to wait and see. So yeah, pretty awesome stuff. I know we're only a few days into the game, but it's awesome to know they're fixing these bugs and working on content updates. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all New Horizons news and updates. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, you guys rock. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you got this far in the video, please comment egg just to let me know you did. That would be super awesome. And please be sure to include whether or not you use the duplication trick and if you're looking forward to meeting Zipper T Bunny. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.